Welcome back. Now that you had a general tour of what's available, let's go through a use case to demonstrate building a report on the data contained in a single board. As a reminder, single board reporting is where you create, manage, and track all of your data in one central board. While we won't be diving into the full methodology for how to build out workflows in a board or in multiple boards today, I do recommend if you want to learn more about building workflows, to check out the specific Building Workflows in Monday.com course in our Monday Academy. As mentioned, reporting needs are something to be considered right from the start when building out a workflow. Our use case for this section will be a single project, which is the opening of our new offices. The background of this use case is that our company's operations team will be working to make sure the office move happens smoothly and on time within a deadline of four months. There are many moving parts and it will be important that management stay on top of where we are in terms of different timelines, our progress, our budgets, and more. With regards to what they're specifically looking for, management would like to see the number of tasks in each phase of the project, the progress of the project, the different timelines and milestones, the different budgets, and a countdown until the project end date. As the team lead, I have some slightly different metrics that I would also like to see, which are more granular. I'm specifically looking for a fun way to show my team the status of their tasks, the time spent on the tasks per person, and overall resource management. So being able to check if my team is under or over capacity. Now, before we start building, let's use the questions from Chapter 2 to help us structure our board so we can build out effective reports based on our business needs. Starting with the who, let's think about who is going to need to see this report. So there are two audiences for us, management team and myself as a team lead. Moving on to what we're looking to achieve with this report, We've already listed out the specific metrics that both management and myself as team lead are looking to see on the previous slide. Now let's align with where exactly our data is going to come from. So we will treat this project as a single project and because it has a short timeline of four months, it can be managed in one single board. This means that we can create the report on the board itself as a dashboard view. So I will need to be able to structure the board in the right way by adding the relevant columns to make sure we can build the report according to our needs. Now let's think about the time frame or when I want to pull the data for my report. Since this is a single project which is unique in nature, meaning it's a one-off workflow, it shouldn't be limited to periods of time, but should simply show the metrics from the start of the project until today. If we were working on a process workflow where the same things happen over and over again, we might want to see reports according to time. So for example, how many deals are closing per quarter, how many applicants are recruited per year, etc. Lastly, let's think about why we're looking to create this report. The goal for this report will be to stay on top of the key metrics of our project so that we can ensure we will open our new office in time. Now that we have a clear understanding of our goals, we can create the board structure, making sure it aligns with the data we want to track in the board and pull into our report. <music>